Shards of Infinity, the latest and greatest on Steam. And we are here to showcase to you what it looks like, how to play it, and some potential strategy you can use in the game. This is Legendary Tactics. This is our first head-to-head -head game. I'm excited. Let's fire it oh, up. Oh yeah, I'm totally uh, yeah. This is this is be great. I have <coughs> I'm uh, I haven't played a lot of this game, but uh, I I came from the Star Realms venue, <coughs> yes. which is in in a similar kind of uh, idea. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I, I've, I've been gathering. I totally agree. It's got some nice twists to it. Like it it feels like Star Realms with a twist, you know, and uh, some different ideas. So yeah, you, it, <coughs> they 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 keep the different sort of factions where you can. Mm -hmm. um, uh, with color coordinated there, so you sort of line that up that way. Yeah, and uh, it's kind of neat that uh, from that perspective. Yeah, uh, there's some some nice little actually bonuses I find in this game that uh, that Star Realms doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Like what? Uh, a little more sh a little more shields, <coughs> you know, where you can have like shields in hand that will actually block damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of a neat one. Um, they also have that, uh, I forget what, what it's called, but you could basically have like a, a back, a protector in the back. Yes, the champions. The champions, yeah. Yes. So that's kind of a neat... But uh, you can neat... bypass the champions if you want to. Like they don't they don't protect you like outposts do in Star Realms. Um, oh, you're getting that. You love your focus. <laughs> yeah. You love I actually, your focus. I actually forgot my first, my first round, so yeah. that's going to be... Ah, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, I, oh, nice shield. Yeah, it's good. You know, I like the shield mechanic is kind of neat. And, uh, you know, the, the mastery mechanic is neat. Um, I, now I'm still trying to beat the, the hard AI in this. And I've, I've been able to, to win fairly consistently against the hard AI and star realms. Oh, have you? Okay. Oh, I guess in star realms. Okay. Yeah. Um, star so. realms I find for me, it's a toss up when I play the hard AI, it's, it's, Probably 60-40 me, but it's not a slam dunk. Oh, it's not a slam means, dunk. So. It's uh, but it, but I no. I can I can beat it. I I'm actually um you know, I've learned a lot from watching what the AI does. Actually, it's there's some pretty neat kind of ideas in there. I'll probably cover that in a video upcoming uh, because it's uh, there's a lot of neat stuff. Oh, there you go. Had yeah, to burn my champion. Guy. Did you burn him out of there? Yeah, big Get time. Him out of there. What would you, uh, how would you compare that? Like, would you say uh, as far as Star Realms versus Shards, is there one that you prefer or? Um, yeah, I, I, I like them both for different reasons. Um, uh, I think that this one is, um, I don't know. It feels like the, um, it's tough to say because they all kind of interact, but this one feels like you, um, you have to make sure you're you've got a more balanced kind of deck. Like I find that um, you can really, if if you know the synergies um, and how they can all tie together, oh my gosh, you can do some really cool stuff. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I feel like there's a little more brain burn to this game. Yeah, that's, that's so my, far. That's anyway. my like first blush. And maybe just because I haven't played a lot of shards yet, but uh, that's yeah like, first first glance, I'd say. You have to. There's a. There's a bit more on, on the bone here. Yes. Yeah. That you might be right on that. Um, geez. Yeah. It's. I'm definitely thinking though. Like one one strategy you want to keep to is like definitely staying to a color or yes. one or two max. You don't want to. Yeah. I think uh, this. Yeah. This. Don't spread yourself too thin because I think by doing that you're going to weaken your overall deck. Yes, I think that's much more of an issue in, I mean, it's it's something that you should do to op, like have optimal play in Star Realms, but I don't feel, this one I feel punished if I stray outside of my, you know, colors, you know you, what I mean? You, you, yeah, your faction that you're going for. Yeah, right? it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's something Anytime where, you do it. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. You have to pick two colors and stick with it. Like I, I just picked up a, uh, uh, an undergrowth, a green. And I'm like, oh, shoot, maybe I, I shouldn't have done that, you know, because even though it was a decent card, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. And I, I think that's the reason why they have the mercenary mechanic, because it allows you to, um, you know, basically it allows you to, re you know, recruit a guy, but not keep him in your deck. So if you if you like the, the, the bonus part of it, then 
Um, yeah. Actually, that speaking of which, that fa- are you a, talking about that fast recruit option? Yeah, the fast recruit because it doesn't. Yeah, that's a really your deck. really neat yep. mechanic in the game for sure. Yes, but if you want to like take advantage of someone, like let's say there's none of your car- your cards abilities up there, and you really really want to, you know, uh, you know, get that guy or what, or it's really just the only buy. Like so, for example, I've got three crystal here. Um, I actually have have to recruit this guy, um, but I would normally choose a mercenary um, because right. then I could. Um, you know, just, you know, get a, a one-time effect and, you know, make use of it. And then he, but he doesn't, you know, dilute anything. So I've got, I've got a, a wraith in the deck and I'm like, oh, do I really, maybe I shouldn't have got him. I should have just picked up a mercenary and like you, yeah. See, see how you've done that. You've just, uh, the eighth ether breaker. Yeah. Big time. You know, yeah. And it, I've been doing that a lot more this game actually than ever before is the fast recruit. Yes. Just go in there, burn him fast. And, uh, and move on but now it does yeah. kind of you lose that crystal value but um over the over the longevity of the game but um yeah well if, yeah if you but if you have nothing else better to spend your money on um you exactly. may as well you know um see i've got wow, nine crystal dude that is that's hefty where uh, nine crystal you've got n- is nine nine recruiting points no nine mastery Oh, nine master. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, you're one ahead of me. See, this guy sense. I'll fast play because I don't want another undergrowth. And that's where I think that that strategy fits. But I think there's synergies between the different, you know, some of the, the cards. And it's, it's based in color, but I think it's also based in, um, you know, there's also some cross uh, things you can do, like across the different... Uh, uh, types of, of factions factions you know like you know there'd be some like you know where you can draw fresh cards and then you get bonuses if you play another undergrowth ally this turn and you know that kind of thing so right um, right 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 yeah 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 so it's um, it's uh it's it's a very sharp uh platform though to play on though i'm, I'm really yeah. happy with oh the it's really it slick yeah the star realms it plays uh, really is, smooth yep yeah, star realms is like this as well but this one seems this one feels zippier for sure and uh yeah it's a lot of tough calls here because you've really gone in for undergrowth and uh homo deus and uh you're one oh nicely done oh yeah yeah i knew you'd grab him oh now i get to get oh and he's got seven health too that's pretty good that guy's good I gotta fast play this guy. Get two more cards. Play them. Yeah. Now. See, see, there's combos like that that you can look for. And oh, here's uh, another one. Fast play him. Yep. Gain another mastery out of the bargain. That's good. And as your mastery gets up there, I I haven't played too many games where I get up to thirty mastery and then I'm able to, you know. No, I haven't seen that myself actually. Yeah. Twenty, yes, but thirty, I have yeah. not. Uh, so we're at, we're actually deadlocked here, eh? Thirty each. I this know. Is, uh... See this? I'm gonna fast play that guy. Get some focus. Yeah, but it's. I feel my deck is a bit more diluted than yours, and I think you you probably have a, a some pretty good cards. Like I I can't beat that uh, that General Decurion. That's that's pretty powerful. I gotta get my. Jeez, I just have to buy this one banger. Yeah. It seems like so, so, sometimes I would actually even pass on that. Yeah, yeah. well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, th- I think that's kind of the point on some yeah, of these like cards. That, that I, I did buy him, but it's like, oh, it's a one banger purple that I have no use for otherwise. Yeah. The Wreath Ally, it's like, ah. Oh, yeah, like I've, I've oh. kind of built some, some Wraith cards up here, but it's not really um, ideal. Oh, good. I can banish a couple cards. I think banishing feels a lot rarer in this game um, compared to uh, compared to um, Star Realms, where you you know you just focus on the red faction and you can pretty much. Uh, Do you know was this game made completely in the mold of Star Realms? Because it really feels like there's <sighs> yeah I, a lot of overlap. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, it's definitely inspired by it or it's part it's part of the same genre for sure um oh you just got the general back again i just killed him off 
Nicely done. Oh, you. Oh, and you're fast playing that guy. Interesting. Oh yeah. Interesting. I thought you'd be. I thought you were buying up the. Uh... No, he was a he was a green dude. Oh yeah, I know. But I thought you were actually going for those. No, I'm going for the uh, like the beigey. Oh okay. Uh, faction. Oh, I really like this crypto fist monk. Oh yes, the crypto fist. <laughs> yeah, I've got my mastery's up to. Once you get up to fifteen, some card abilities really start kicking in. But I have a feeling you're gonna probably start crushing me here. You're you're right so. back up almost to full health, <laughs> and I'm down to twenty five. Yeah. So, yeah, it's only it's gonna be tough. I'd be very I'd be curious if there is actually a strategy where you race to get oh, Ooh, fifteen geez, damage. Yeah, that, that one was punishing. Yeah. Oh boy. But I, I, are... I wonder if there's a strategy where you race to get to um thirty mastery and uh then you can um So you're at uh thirteen yeah. I'm at fourteen. Okay. Jeez, I gotta kill him off. It is uh it's tough to get to thirty. I, I don't see. I don't see a lot of games actually going to thirty. Yeah, I'd be very surprised personally. But yeah. I mean, must happen. I, I mean, it's it's probably uh, maybe it's more for beginners, you know. But I don't see that many people. I anytime I've played against the hard AI and everything, it's been pretty much, uh, you know, it's a pretty quick game. You don't get much past ten mastery. You know, probably there's people that know our know this game much better watching us right now, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, you could have ended it like six turns ago," and they're they're probably right. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got you down to ten. I'm getting yeah, you, I'm oh getting yeah. you close, no, but for I'm, sure. Again, maybe maybe I'm, we apolo I apologize to the pros out there that have played this, you know, many times. We're yeah, <laughs> working our way through, but uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I, I think I, I definitely think you want to stick to one 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 faction if you can yeah i think that's uh you know maybe you know complement it with a with another one um but yeah, yeah definitely you want to uh to stick with one because yeah it's definitely a, i think it's the way forward um right you know but that's where all the mercenary abilities you know, when, you know where you interact with them. I don't know. It's it's a smart it's smart game. It's really well put together. You know, I. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I. Um, you got to start actually. You know, as this game starts winding down, mm -hmm. realizing what your <clears throat> where your cards are at and what you got to try and do to. Oh, you had a lot of guys up there. I actually. know. I did have a lot. Oh, of only two damage! Oh boy! I know. You, I think Your you may have been able to finish me off, couldn't you? Before? If, oh, you know what? I think I misplayed. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Trust me, I'm, you're in uh, good shape. I'm actually beginning to get uh, some decent um, banishing underway, though. We're getting some good, uh, some good runs. It here. was all those shields. I, I I spent my money crashing. The, you had you had a bunch of shields up that I took out. Yes. And I think if I had. If I hadn't wasted my money on those, I think I, I had you. But yeah, then I'm at 20 for mastery. For some reason, I That's not... thought I had to take you. Yeah, it's 20 mastery is not anything to sneeze at, really. Um, but yeah, what do I buy here? I'll buy fast play this guy. Oh, um, I guess I'll buy him. <laughs> I'm a, a champion. There's another one of my one of my dudes I need. That's good. Yes. It may not matter at this point. No. Though. Well, it depends on how much damage you. Uh, you get. Yeah, you're not quite at 20 mastery, which is where uh, General Jacurian really. Uh, oh, only one damage. I know. Oh, man. Oh, no. I'm getting a little bit nervous here, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> I may have. So uh... I'm going to destroy him for free. And why is that? The Greed Faction is one faction I actually really enjoy playing. They're they're kind of a neat. Uh, Which faction's that? The the green one. Yeah. Oh no, greens are are, yeah, are under, undergrowth ally there. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, undergrowth ally. They're very good. Uh, well, fast play this dude. Sure, we'll grab him for one. Oh, and oh, destroy boy. that champion. 
You're up to 20 health again? I oh know. Oh my gosh. I know. It's, I battled back a bit from the brink here, but... You just need one big turn and you can crush me. Yeah. Well, let's hope that happens. <laughs> no, let's hope it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you've you've that's I when don't... the undergrowth is really good about for healing. That's a really good way to you know. Sorry. You're Thirteen shield. Thirteen shield. Yeah, that's holy. That's moly. the power of the. Uh, of the, uh, the the blues as they've got a lot of shields and that's that's the main faction i was focused on and now they've kind of run dry in my i've had to go in other directions oh um, gosh and now you're actually starting to like well creep up on me here you know bit. what i've 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 kind of got some uh i've i've gotten all my crappy cards out of the uh mix now so Oh, now you're into the. It's pre only yeah, good cards it, now in my yeah. in my mix. So I don't know. May come I, back here. We'll see. I'm I'm a little anxious because my next hand is not very strong. So. Yeah. <laughs> but you see, I'm only picking up great great cards more or less. I still have a few crystals kicking around, but. But if I if my shields hold up or whatever, Jeez. then there's some good potential. And you're only eight uh, hit points ahead of me now, so. Minus one, and now, oh man, this could be bad. Yeah, we'll have to see here. This could be a bad turn. Oh boy. All right, seven. 11 damage, not good. Oh, this kind of makes it interesting. <laughs> I'm at 30 mastery. You've hit it. I have. I just, hit it. All oh, I need is that card, and I gosh. do infinite damage. Just as we were talking about, hey, this never never yeah, happens. Yeah, so. I, I know. <laughs> all wow. I need is that card now. Oh, boy. This Look could out. be bad. This could be really bad. You heal up as much as you like, and you're a ways away from it, too. Oh, man. I'm surprised, actually. I did not think that I would be... Uh, 25, 18. Yeah, I have just stalled. I have just stalled. Yeah, you were you were really just dominating. I I, I, I hearken back to about four turns ago where I just I think I misplayed. Yeah, maybe. Uh, and that uh, maybe. I mean, it's tough to tough to say. Guess I'll take him. Yeah. Oh, and there it is, the infinity no! shard. <laughs> infinity damage well that was <laughs> well done yeah well hey that's cool we actually got to get that in yeah. action and play and that's it's neat. so funny because you said oh uh, you know that'll never happen but i saw there was a fast recruit blue card there it says gain five mastery i'm like no way all right grab it five mastery and wow. and that boosted me to 30 and then it was just a matter of time until the uh the infinity shard turned up so well, hey, well done. Yeah. Well done. Great game, Nate. That was good. good. Yeah, thanks very much. And hope uh, our viewers enjoyed watching it too. Yes, indeed. You got to see the uh, Infinity Blast happen. So that's good. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so uh, thank right. you so much for watching. And please like and subscribe, all the usual stuff. And we will see you next time. This has been Legendary Tactics.